Hey guys, it's Archon. As you might have heard, Diablo 3 just got a new game director. So if you didn't know, Jay Wilson was the original game director for Diablo 3 up until about six months ago. He was heading the project until he stepped down, and we haven't had a game director since. And some people might say the reason that patches have kind of slowed down recently is because Diablo 3 doesn't have a game director. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it seems that having a game director is a good thing. And the new one is Josh Mascara. So you might know Josh Mascara as the former lead developer for the console version of Diablo 3, and he is now the game director for Diablo 3, and I think it sounds like a good thing. It sounds like he has a good hold on the game, and the direction he wants to take it is the direction that I was hoping that it would continue going in, and I think a lot of you guys are excited too. So there's this post on the Diablo 3 site from Josh Mascara introducing himself. I'll just go through it really quickly touch on all the points. There's a link in the description if you guys want to read it yourself, and then I'll give you guys my opinion. So he introduces himself at the beginning. He says how he got a start in game design in 1996. He lists some of the games that he worked on, like Homeworld, Company of Heroes, Warhammer. Uh, coincidentally, some of the same probably not coincidentally actually, a lot of the same game as Jay Wilson. So it looks like he's been working a lot with Jay Wilson in the past. And then he also talks about how he got his start in playing the original Diablo. He talks about what he likes about Diablo and the company Blizzard. Uh, he says he got started on Diablo working on the console team as the uh, lead designer. Talks about what he likes about Blizzard. Um, and then he gets into the good stuff down here, which is the things that he wants to improve about Diablo 3. He mentions Travis Day's itemization post, which is awesome, because itemization is something that a lot of us are looking forward to. I think Travis Day has a good hold on that. He talks about uh, making the loot experience more enjoyable and taking emphasis away from the auction house, which is another thing that I've been hoping they continue to do. It was good to hear him iterate that. And uh, he also talks about character customization, both visual uh, gear customization and mechanical customization, he says. And um, down lower, he also mentions Endgame. So those, I really I think, are the main fundamental issues with Diablo 3 right now is the lack of Endgame, too much emphasis on the auction house, uh, itemization needs to be improved, and then character customization. I think those are definitely the four biggest points, and he hit on all of them, so that was exciting for me. Uh, these are all things that we've been told from Travis Day and Wyatt Chang were directions that the game was heading in, um, but it was just good to hear that the new game director agrees with those directions and, and wants to touch on those same points. And overall, the whole letter was just really encouraging. It's nice that Diablo 3 has a game director again, and it's nice that he's on board with all the exciting changes coming up. I'm hoping this really speeds along the process. Maybe we'll get some patches out quicker. Maybe we'll get the expansion out quicker. And uh, it also just reassures me that what I've been hoping, that the expansion or patches up to the expansion would really fix the fundamental issues with Diablo 3. If you guys are interested in seeing interviews with Josh Mascara, there's a lot of them on YouTube, but I'll go ahead and put a link to one of them below so you can check that out. I'd also like to hear what you guys think about the new game director, so please leave comments with your opinions, and I'll read as many of them as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the subscribe button if you did, and I'll have another one for you soon.